Hi everybody, Taxbex here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Uh, this is going to be a part two to a video I did, uh, I guess a month or two ago. It was trying to see differences in velocity of 357 Magnum compared to a revolver versus a rifle. Now this is my Rossi R92. It's got the 16 inch barrel and then this is my uh, Ruger uh, Blackhawk which has a six inch, no I think it's a six and a half inch barrel. So what we're going to do, uh, back then what happened was I think it was one of the first times I used my chronograph. I think I had it a little close and I shot 110 grain, 125 and 158. Uh, the 110 seemed to chrono fine and so did the 158. The 125 was not chronoing at all uh, and I think it, I was I just I had it too close. So this time I put my chronograph uh, a little further out there. I think it's a little past 10 yards which is the recommended distance and unfortunately I don't have 110 grain uh, anymore and I couldn't find any. So uh, but like I said the original results on that seem to be very consistent so I don't think that was a problem but we're gonna try the 125 grain this is Remington UMC uh, 125 grain jacketed soft point and we're gonna compare how it does in a revolver and uh, versus a rifle uh, and also the uh, 158 grain jacketed soft point uh, American Eagle so uh, I think I'm gonna start with the heavier ammunition first so let me load up in the Blackhawk the 158 grain uh, federal load and uh, let's see how it chronographs okay I put my chronograph a little further down range we're gonna shoot the uh, 158 grain Federal American Eagle jacketed soft point. See what kind of velocities we get. One thousand three hundred thirty nine. One thousand three hundred eighty five. Oh, very consistent. Huh, didn't get a reading. 3,165. Oh, that can't be right. 1,323. There we go. I'm going to I'm going to delete that 3,000. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. 2042. Oh. Huh. Let me put uh, another round in there. I'm going to put two more rounds in there because uh seem to have two bad readings. 1,305. There we go. That sounds about right. 1,334. There we go. So it looks like we're at about 1,300 and some change uh, out of the Ruger Red Hawk six and a half inch barrel at uh, well, I've got it. I've got it set about 12 yards away. So now let's see how this 158 grain does out of the Rossi. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, I also had one that didn't read. So I'm going to fire one more out of the Blackhawk. 1,326. Once again, uh, 1,300 and some change. Uh, hopefully you were able to hear the. Uh, robot voice out of that one. If not, I'll put up all of the information right now. So once again, about 1300 and some change. So it seems out of the Blackhawk with a six and a half inch barrel, uh, shooting the 158 grain uh, at a little over 10 yards. This is where I have the, the uh, chronograph. We're getting about 1300 feet per second, a little bit more. So let's see how it does out of the Rossi. And now I've got six rounds of the Federal 357 158 grain out of my Rossi. Let's see what kind of speed differences we get. 1727. Okay, yeah, significantly more. Well, didn't get a reading that time. Uh, let's shoot a little lower, getting it closer. 978. Ooh, that didn't seem right. Maybe I'm not shooting it close enough to the sensor. Let me see here. 
1719. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fire a couple more rounds because if I'm not getting it close enough to the sensor, it will not register. That's the trick about a chronograph, getting it close enough without hitting the actual machine. Okay, once again an error. Well, let me load up some more. Let's see here. 1732. Okay, let me see how many I was able to get. Uh, one, two, three. So let me load in three more rounds uh, for those readings that I did not get. Okay, three more rounds of the 158 grain. Let's see here. 1752. There we go. 1748. And last but not least. 1791. There we go. Okay. So it seems that uh, out of the pistol we were getting 1300 and change, and out of the rifle we're getting 1700 and change, close to 1800. Uh, 400 feet per second more at least uh, so it's a significant difference with the 158 grain now let's try the uh, 125 grain see how it does and now we're going to test the oh sorry wrong side the remington umc 125 grain we'll start with the black hawk and see what kind of speed we get out of it 1,523. Okay, 1,500 and change. 1,303. Hmm. Uh, didn't register that time. Get a little closer. 1,510. Okay. 1510. Didn't register again. 'm I gotta get the shots a little bit closer once again the trick is getting it close enough without hitting your machine oh was that six rounds okay so I got successful I got three 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 to register out of six so let me load in three more rounds and see if we can get some speeds registered out of them on the chrono okay we have three more rounds in let's see if we can actually get some readings here 1528 interesting. 1,157. Wow, really inconsistent. 1,493. Well, so it looks like we had anywhere between 1,300 and change to 1,500 and change out of the revolver with this uh, Remington UMC. That has sort of been my experience with Remington UMC. Um, it just seems to be slightly inconsistent ammo. Uh, but let's see what kind of speed differences we get out of the Rossi. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, got the Rossi, got the UMC 158, I'm sorry, 125 grain. And here, six rounds. Let's see if we can get all six rounds to register. 1981. Twenty thirty two. Twenty sixty one. Okay, let me load in one more round for that one round I fired that didn't register. Twenty thirty one. Okay, well, we're getting over two thousand uh, feet per second on most of those, so 
yeah significant difference once again not terribly consistent looked like the uh umc was the least consistent out of these two ammunitions but uh, you're certainly getting a lot more speed out of the rifle than you are out of the pistol. I may try this again at some later point if I can get myself uh, 110 grain again or maybe 180 grain and uh, see how those compare. Certainly it looks like in both cases you're getting at least a few hundred feet per second increase out of a 16 inch barrel as compared to a six and a half inch barrel. Thanks again, this was a fun video. Love shooting 357, one of my favorite calibers. And I'll see you all in the next one.